Hello everyone, it's the database rat. Check this out. Uh, I'm here to show that uh, the Xbox One is a complete failure. Uh, the Xbox One X is a complete failure. <laughs> and you know the Xbox One was a failure, especially in marketing str strategy. Uh, making a requirement to Xbox One X, first announcing where the uh, Xbox One games have to be online always, and yeah, they they fucking made everybody, hey, we're not gonna do this, we're gonna do it where we can do everything a lot easier in PlayStation 4. It's basically what the fuck they did. <laughs> uh, just being real with you. So, you know, PlayStation 4, play, Xbox One came out 2013 over the years. Okay, for one point they're gonna make a slim, and then they decided to make an upgrade of a system. The first time they ever did something like that. Of course, they make reiterations of systems and things, but the first time I've ever heard them actually make a system better and put better stuff in, PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. But the purpose of this video is explaining why the Xbox One X will be obsolete by the time next generation comes and that they wasted their time. The PlayStation 4 came in um, at the end of 2016 at a good time, a year, a year before uh, Xbox One X uh, had time to even release their uh, upgraded next gen center, uh, system of the upgraded uh, Xbox One. And PlayStation 4 did by the Pro. So now, you got uh, Xbox One, uh, it's, it's end of 2017, and the Xbox One X came out, and boom, that's where they're at. They're, they're, they're at the end of the year. Okay, and okay, now it's 2018, a few months later, because there's still time a time gap. Uh, okay, by the time the PlayStation 5 comes out, unless... There's not even a game enough to even to be equipped with that game, that system to even go that far. Um, meaning that by the time the PlayStation 5 comes out and the Xbox One X, their gaming is not going to be as uh, as as good because the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, of course, going to be better than Xbox One X. It's going to be so much better. It's unreal. You know, just like every other gaming system. Uh, every every next gen, every X gen that comes out. So. I'm, uh, like, just thinking, like, what the, why would they come out with it now and year after the Xbox PlayStation 4 Pro, that's 2016. If they put, if you put, in, if PlayStation 5 is going to come out or be announced around 2019 and coming around 2020, 2021, that's about time for a new console. I don't care what no one says. Because if you put it at 2023, you're saying 10 years with the same gaming system. No, that's not likely. 10, 10 years, they've already started to come out with something better and newer. And people are going to want something newer. So we'll put the time gap at 2023. Now check this out. It's already 2018. 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That means the Xbox One has got six years till a 10-year gap ended. But you know the PlayStation, Xbox, uh, PlayStation uh, 5 is, is going to come out... Uh, a couple years at least before before that 10 year point they're not that far um out of it to know that they can't put the game out the game system out at uh that particular time so now you got the xbox one x that just came out with a failure system xbox one that didn't make much sales the Switch is already doing really good in the market, which I give, I don't, I, you know, I'm, I'm Sony fan, the, 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 all over, it took over my life, uh, over Nintendo, honestly it did, over the years, but Nintendo, I don't, I, you know, honestly, I would cry if Nintendo beat fun of, of, uh, the PlayStation 4. The Switch is already portable in, the, in handheld, uh, competing with graphics PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, who the fuck would want a, a play, a Xbox One X that plays games that are equivalent to Switch, the regular Xbox One and the regular PlayStation 4 that's not even Pro or an X, you know? And that's devastating to the market that the, a portable gaming system came out and you can hook it up to your TV is fucking <laughs> raping the market. Believe me, motherfuckers are totally into that shit, especially take their gaming uh, elsewhere. And of course, they're going to fix all the bugs if there's bugs in the end, re-render it, create new model numbers and uh, to the system, and they're going to perfect it, you know, don't get me wrong, they do have some hardware failure in the beginning, and technical software issues, they'll get through all that, and fit, help, help gaming, they're not, they're here to help, not to, uh, take your money, believe me, they would like your money, so, my point is, okay, we now, X, play, okay, look, check this out, it's 2018, Xbox One X is out, PlayStation 4 Pro, Nintendo Switch, right, that's technically the highest systems out right now, Nintendo Switch beats PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X due to its portability. And 
and this gaming is is equivalent as graphics is equivalent to um you know the graphics of playstation 4 pro and xbox one x now check this out it's already 2018 okay take 2019 right okay you got 2019 right uh now are they already going to start making games that are going to be a, that can be enough to graphics for the xbox one x or are they gonna make a down version for the xbox uh one i just know that when i play the playstation 4 pro that when, when someone has a playstation 4 pro that the game is embedded up on the uh you know from PlayStation 4 you put a PlayStation 4 game and PlayStation 4 Pro uh, uh you know PlayStation games on the PlayStation 4 Pro so the point is does are they gonna make it is Xbox One X gonna make it where there's only gonna be exclusive Xbox One X games then then people are gonna be really straight away and if they do that let me tell you they're gonna fuck up completely I don't think Sony's gonna do something like that because they're gonna be like oh exclusive for PlayStation 4 Pro unless that game is Final Fantasy uh um seven remake or kingdom hearts three or they make like an upgraded version a 4k version a regular version and release two two different versions or make it as one game and go go both ways i wish that's what they should do not make it separate um okay you get we're at 2019 now uh 2018 let's say that they start to announce uh, 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 uh more information about the final fantasy Remake. we haven't heard basically nothing since uh i think tokyo game show 20 15 and e3 2015 if i'm correct on those uh i think it's tokyo game show or the, no 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 it's playstation experience when they actually sony playstation experience when they had uh released a, the gameplay footage for final fantasy uh 7 remake in 2015 in december i think so i was in jail and the deputy was like the graphics are fucking awesome i was just here to, like a crackhead at the door trying to tell the deputy to come down and talk to me about it i was like hey dude what's what's it look like dude like he's like dude it's fucking ins it's it's it's, it's, it's good it's good. And he just walked, he just smiled and walked away. I was like, yo, this shit's insane. So every second I'm trying to talk to this motherfucker, like, crackhead. Like, I was at the cell, he's like, yo, Debbie, come here, man. Hey, tell me some more about it. He's like, dude, you just got to see it, man. I was about to get out, like, four months, five months later, and I looked at the previews, I was like, I couldn't believe that shit. So, the point is that I put into perspective that, of course, to play Xbox Ones, they're good in the market, decent in the market. I'm not going to say good. That's giving them too much props. X uh, Switch is doing so good that, you know, they're going to be neck and neck with a PlayStation 4, even though it came out years later, because you got to think about it. Uh, the, the Wii U <laughs> was something that's out before the time, and with the time around PlayStation 4, the next year, PlayStation 4 and uh, Xbox One came out. So check this out. Now, that the, the technically... The Switch is at another generation, <laughs> if, you, if you get what I'm saying, in the line of consoles and each one that comes out. But that's not technically it. The Switch is actually part of this console generation, and the Wii U was actually part of this console generation. Uh, they just did it, named it something different, put it, put the shit together, took, took, make the screen to where they connect, and say, well, we're going to put this hardware there. Boom, motherfucker wrote it out. Japanese motherfuckers talking. <laughs> you know? I was like, sweet, go ahead. You know? So, uh, I haven't got a Switch yet, but... I would like to have one one day and uh and, and start gaming out you know so check this out the uh take for instance they announced final fantasy Marine for e3 this year 2018 okay now that's already people getting a chest pay for playstation 4 but supposedly it's supposed to be a time exclusive or exclusive only for playstation 4 you know don't get me wrong so at one point maybe the xbox one uh will get it and then the playstation uh, and they're coming out multiple games for PlayStation 4. So you got to put it in a time window. Is it? Do people think that if they can announce more about the game this year, or at least December later this year, there's another PlayStation experience. If people wait all these Tokyo game shows and, and, and video game, major video game conventions, especially E3, and uh, the PlayStation experience and, and press conference asking questions, they're keeping a lot of stuff under wraps for a reason. Their game's going to be fucking great. And a lot of people are like, hey, they're going to fuck it up. Like my cousin, he says, oh, they're going to fuck it up. They're not going to do good. And, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, you didn't say not do good. He said they're going to fuck it up. That's what I said. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm giving as much thought and, and, and power to these people as possible and my own energy. Like, please make it good. I'm hoping they make it good, not just automatically saying they're going to make it bad and there's only just a, one video of what the game looks like. Maybe he just didn't like what he's seen, but I kind of like what I see, don't get me wrong. After I look back at it in the game and in stuff like that and original experience of original Final Fantasy when I was 10 years old or 11 and I had the game, I got it like 1998. I traded my bike for it, actually. So, 
My point is, when this game comes out, and the Xbox One X is there, right? The Xbox One X is so far gone and so late to the whole next PlayStation 4 broke. Boom, stronger video game system, powerful. Okay, Xbox One X is faster and better than the PlayStation 4X. But what the fuck did they got? The what underlining base they got the, the build off of? The fucking all the games that and, and the systems that people bought and sold for just a little shit they sold for Xbox One. That's technically where they're building from. That's fucking nothing. They fucked up doing that. They should have with Xbox One X like last year and before the X PlayStation 4 Pro in order to get it in the market to beat the PlayStation 4 Pro. Then Sony would have been at end. Or, or thinking, okay, should we still release PlayStation 4 Pro? Should we continue with our things? They probably would still would have... So I'm saying there's a different scenario. But now that they did a year afterward, you already got a year of people buying a PlayStation 4 Pro. You got all the people that bought that, and people still thinking about getting a PlayStation 4 Pro and wanting to go to the, uh, get the play Xbox One X, the upgraded system. And then the people that, they're not even a part of that console generation. So you only got the little people that, that see, they fucked up with the Kinect thing and the, the whole making a game online and making online always and stuff, and they changed it. Like, no, we're not going to do that. You got to have the game, one game per console. Whatever I was hearing about, actually, during my time incarcerated. I was like, what the fuck? Like, that, dude. So they, they completely fucked up their marketing strategy completely. All power to Microsoft. If they can override one generation and make some crazy shit happen, I would probably, might bow down. But I don't want to bow down. So it's just I'm a Sony fan, you know? Uh, but they've yet to win a, a, a console war. They, honestly, if you check the real statistics, PlayStation 3 beat... Xbox One X, I mean, I mean, PlayStation 3 beat uh, Xbox 360 by like a percent, half a percent, or like 3% or something of sales. Um, of course, Xbox 360 was stronger and better, or stronger at that point, and then the PlayStation 4 I thought was better, and it's better. But so many Red Ring of Death, people had to go buy the system again? No, my, I've seen all PlayStation 4, my cousin had a PlayStation 4 years years never nothing wrong with it i know seen people that had her ah, i got an xbox one and then found right time my cousin got his playstation 4 and then this and that and then boom like all of a sudden they got a red ring of death like because people go back and buy another system you know and we're getting a used one so all this money is being you had to be wanting to go back and get systems and things over reported what millions that doesn't count for sales, man. If someone you're gonna fuck a system up, they're gonna go buy another one, especially new, because there's not enough to make up for how many used ones there is. Uh, if people gotta go keep getting used ones for ones breaking that are used and were new, you know what I'm saying? So, put that in perspective for you how their strategy, how their strategy and logic is, right? Now you got. Uh, this time window when Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out because that's a devastating time for it for Microsoft. They got to prepare for that shit like, you know, they they need to get a game producer or someone, you know, I would do great in the video gaming stuff. If they just say, hey, where do you come up with an idea or something? I know these motherfuckers, they got people, don't get me wrong, it's sitting down at tables all day long coming up with ideas, thinking of these things, how about this? Honestly, if they brought a few gamers in there and, 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 and I'm pretty, they do have gamers gamers, industry gamers but like low-end gamers like like street gamers <laughs> it's like it's like a term i mean like people like me you know people we're not famous or not we don't have a job doing gaming but people that surely love gaming and i'm making a video about it because i love gaming so much you know a daily the video is to say that xbox one x is a fuck up and a failure already and where it's going is 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 is, is it end like what the fuck's the purpose of it you know like playstation 4 pro didn't did that shit and and, and made a better system and don't get me wrong they're, they're neck and neck somewhat but the xbox one x is fucking like like a chunk better i have to say it like that um i can't really graph it for you um, but it's just to say it's like PlayStation 4 Pro is here and Xbox One X is like here, but it's above it. It's, it's, it's faster regardless. So my point is right when Xbox One X comes out, okay, Final Fantasy VII Remake, PlayStation 4 Pro, the Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to take over the market temporarily. It's going to be the hottest shit out. All the old games people don't give a fuck about. You know, you go buy that motherfucker used or new, old games and shit. PlayStation 4 Pro is an Xbox One X. We're, we're thinking of these two systems. And also, thinking when I say those two, I'm also talking about the separate Xbox, uh, play, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So we're bringing these four consoles and an Nintendo Switch up into 2019. 
2018. They announced Final Fantasy VII, or more information about Final Fantasy VII Remake, this year, uh, during E3, or later this year. Because one body had to have been three years. What, what, 16, 17, 18? That's three years. I still haven't heard no news about fucking Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, so, now you got all the way down till uh, these, uh, game conventions and it's 2019 now in the middle of 2019 e3 and stuff they need to start strategizing out it for 2020 the, new, the next decade uh even though people don't really uh people look at it as like a new decade so they're definitely gonna think about a new decade a new generation of uh, uh things like that so the xbox one x is gonna be like uh you know they gotta start making games for it like that utilizes all the graphics for it and the power like, because if I can go get a, a Xbox and you got an Xbox One X and it loads faster, that's cool. And the graphics going to be better? Is that how that works? Of course, the graphics is going to be somewhat better. The graphics and rendering is going to be different because they're a better graphics card. And everything's going to load quicker. That's cool. But people's not people. other people that really don't care about those te technicalities and shit, and they're like, uh, does Xbox One X have its own system again? They're like, no, no. Like, like those people's conversation somewhere. And then you got people like, well, why would I get that if it well, it's just faster and stuff? That's all they're gonna think faster. They're gonna think, oh, better graphics card is gonna render graphics and rendering and shader, shader pixels and uh, graphical resolutions and you know, all that other stuff. I'm just saying how they would think they would say it. You know, I actually know the correct term, the correct terms for how video game systems work and uh, things of that nature and how they're faster and things. As long as I have it in front of me, it can tell you. Uh, cause I don't have none of that memorized. It's not to the point where I can't even memorize that stuff. I used to have like gaming systems memorized for their speed and uh, processing power, RAM and stuff. Now it's to the point where I'm like, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. so <laughs> all the words and stuff, you know. So, uh, okay, they got to make certain main games for this thing. And even that they do, that would en enable it for it to be compatible for the Xbox One. And if it isn't incompatible for the Xbox One, and they down the gaming for it. They're like, well, I got the game for Xbox One X, and people's going to be confused. You know what I'm saying? So, so how would they make a game that's like 4 pay compatible Xbox One X and then put it down at the bottom or some shit? Maybe that'll make it more, um, hey, play in 4K on Xbox One X. You get what I'm saying? And I'm really trying to narrow down how they fucked up uh, waiting so long. PlayStation 4 Pro, boom, here's a fast PlayStation 4. You can do all this, better graphics, gra graphics in it. Go ahead, you know, we're, we're going to get this done. That's what Sony did. Microsoft, like a year later, coming here a year later, oh, Xbox One X is way faster now. Uh, they had, I guess they had to wait a year to make sure they had enough, uh, the market wasn't as, as, as strong, because they had a recent year before, probably been 100 to $200 more, uh, you know, being a gaming system. Uh, at, at that speed and power, Xbox One X, don't get me wrong, it's the fast gaming system out. And I hate to admit that over the PlayStation 4 and the Play, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro. Like, it's just, I have to, have to. I've checked the statistics for it, and people are like, oh, it's great. I was like, fuck, what can my PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro, or just an, an example, since I don't got to have PlayStation Xbox One, that that can't do that Xbox One can't do, you know? Like, you're going to you use all this power and, and stuff like that, when they could have just released a system near the same speed as the PlayStation 4 Pro, Microsoft has the money, and they could just release it around the same time, so they're just they're neck and neck, and people's like, oh, they copied each other doing this, and then Xbox One X comes out like, and that's the one thing, Xbox One S and Xbox One X, but that's too much, that sounds the same, so that's not good, they did that shit, so, so I'll tell you this, Nintendo Switch is gonna rip, rip it, rip it, rip uh, Xbox One asshole out, rip its anus, a a asshole out, inside out, of it, of it, and then, and then the PlayStation Xbox One X is not gonna know what to fucking do because Switch is standing there fucking whipping its ass also, and it's in a Switch alone, you know, and you can give it a couple more years because they say it's fast the gaming system out, you know, so, you know, then it's in a Switch, so, um, yeah, and, uh, you got these people that are not understanding to get this system and that system, they should have just rebranded it all, all together. They should have said the Xbox 2 that's compatible with Xbox One games and Xbox 360 games, right? Integrate with Xbox 360 software, change, change the settings some, right? So it looks different. So they think they're getting a new who call who new console. It's the Xbox One, um, Xbox Two or Xbox One Two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Xbox Two technically is going to be next system because the PlayStation Five. Of course, PlayStation Five is going to rape uh, the Xbox One X. It's just it's just a given. They're not going to create a system slower because then that's the PlayStation Four Pro. You know what I'm saying? So around the end of 2019, 
where we're at now in 2020. We're going to start hearing about this PlayStation 5. You, you got to think about it. 2018, 19, that's two more years less than a decade. And they announced Final Fantasy 15. I mean, Final Fantasy 7 in this year? Dude, you're, you're, think, think about it. They're, they're, next year and then the year after, they're probably going to make a version or maybe go ahead and make the PlayStation 5 and release it for the PlayStation 5. And if they do that, <laughs> then it's going to make it where people are not going to give a fuck about the fucking um, uh, Xbox One X or the Xbox One. They're going to be like, oh, PlayStation 5. And then Microsoft's already shuffling saying Xbox 2. So now you got Xbox 2 trying to come out also. Because remember, they're going to be next. This is competition. This is market. It's people making money. This is real shit. This is real shit going on. And I know I made this video long, but it's to explain every single strategical aspect of how Microsoft already fucked up. You know, don't get me wrong, they got the greatest system out now, you know. That's why they should have named it the Xbox 2, named it, uh, made it better, or waited another year, made it even better, right? Because all this is graphics and stuff, and they could have released it a year later or made better shit in it. You know, why Why jump in and make it something faster and better and try to make more money when your first console, it's the same thing as that, just faster and in better graphics is not as fucking great. <laughs> you know, so... You got this time window, right, from 2019 to 2020, 2021, that we'll start to hear something about the PlayStation 5, Xbox 2. So like I said, they should have made it to Xbox 2 regardless, made it where the menus look different, made it where it was Xbox 360, Xbox 2, and started making new games for it. But they, that time frame and people and, uh, making years to make a video game and people programming and coding and, and, and graphic designers and people making it where everything looks perfect, you know, that's another level of HD because the gaming people, not only do they make a good gaming system, you got to think in order to utilize all that power and, and graphics, they got to make a video game that's that good because you got to think about it. Some PlayStation um, games were not as good, you know, or, or, or is graphical wise or utilizing all the power in a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 2 era, even the PlayStation uh, 1. And the Xbox and you know different games have different graphics, but they use a lot of sort of the graphics. So Xbox One X needs to go ahead and start making games that are this that can that can blow Xbox Pro for I mean PlayStation 4 Pro out the water. And I'll tell you why because it does nothing. It does nothing just sitting there and all that power and utility, and not having an Xbox. Uh, Two or the next system, and if they did that, they would have read. They would have did it as like a, I think naming the Xbox Two, would have named would have did good, and then they could have named the X One Three when the PlayStation Five came out. Just so, and the reason why it's wording and, and it's like that is because I'll tell you why. They could have made the menus different. They could have made everything slightly different so that people think they're getting the next gen, which it is a lot faster and better than the Xbox One and the X. Uh, PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 4 Pro. So they could have just made it a next gen. You know what I'm saying? But it's I guess it's not there's not a level to it for them to make it a next gen. I guess why they make it a decision. But I would have named it Xbox 2 and would have said something like uh you know, hey, you know, this is the new gaming system and then make exclusive games for it and it's backward compatible. Then they could have you know, did something better with the sales of Xbox One X. You know what I'm saying? So that shit, and play, Switch is going to fuck up the Xbox One X. You got Final Fantasy VII Corona Corner for PlayStation 4. Even the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, it's not going to have enough time to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as that Final Fantasy VII shit starts to kick back in, if you want Kingdom Hearts and stuff, which is going to be part of the, uh, uh, the Xbox One uh, stuff also, but Sony's exclusively putting that motherfucker for uh, release time release for Final Fantasy VII for Sony and PlayStation 4. And if they do it for PlayStation 4 and then or just do it for PlayStation 5, either or, they're fucking that time frame and when that happens and the next Xbox comes out with their system and PlayStation 5 starts to come out, dude, it's not people are not gonna have enough time to get the Xbox One shit, man. That's why when the PlayStation 4 Pro came out first, that at first year, so that's all Sony gave a fuck about getting that first year in. And now they're during that time, the year and two, during the time that Xbox One X out, they're like, well, what the fuck's the difference? Well, it's not, it's a, there's a big difference, but not like a big enough difference to, hey, this is the next gen. That's why I would have said, fuck it, make it next gen, name it Xbox Two, and shit like that. So that's my complete respect to how the Xbox One X 
from now 2019, I mean 2018, 2019, and 2020, because the closing window, like I said in the beginning, was 2023. That's 20, that's 10 years uh, since the uh, Xbox uh, One X. They've released them every every seven to eight years, nine years maybe, if you uh, if you count it. I think it's like every seven years, eight years, that set for between the one and the two, to three, and the three and the four. And then a the time gap between, I guess you got to kind of double that time or, or or put five years between two, 2003, four, five, six, uh, three years and put another three years. See, they got time. See, Sony's smart. So, especially the Xbox, the PlayStation 4 Pro coming out first. Doesn't mean I'm going to jump to go get Xbox Xbox One X when, what the fuck's did it do to me, you know? And they, they start making smaller TVs that are uh, 4K compatible, which they're doing at one point. Don't be wrong, because they're 4K TVs. There's 4K, uh, you know, 1080p TVs still, which I got. I don't want to get a 4K TV, because they make them big as fuck, and they make them expensive as hell. Just like they do with every other TV, when they do to go make 8K TVs, and or 6K, unless they make it 6K, then 8K. However they plan on resoluting it. But look, I'm going to go ahead and go, guys. Look, this is a database rat, and y'all check, you know, share this video, dude. And I want y'all's game in perspective on what could happen uh, and an unbiased opinion on my opinions. And uh, tell me what you think about how I think. You know, did, did micro, Xbox One X fuck up again after the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox 2 that's going to be coming out uh, whenever they announce it and announce the PlayStation 5, the Nintendo Switch where it's going, Nintendo's next console in the next uh, three, three to five year range of gaming. You know, that's every every aspect that I can think of. If I miss anything, y'all guys comment, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Subscribe to my channel. Check it out. But I'll tell you this, that the Xbox One X, I think, made bad decision. And I've only read a little bit about it. I don't even care about it. And I already know that this is what all could happen. And I can tell a motherfucker waving my hand like magic and make that shit vanish, you know. Like, like here's PlayStation 5, vanish. You know, and especially, like I said, the final outcome of when Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming out, which is a highly anticipated game for me. Don't get me wrong, but you got to think about it. That in in, in 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 regards to all this stuff and all everything I've said, you know, I'll be right. You know, y'all take care. Today, best rat. Peace.